What's up guys, my name is Javon Studios and <clears throat> upon my tiny investigation on the YA romance genre, I've encountered uh, some quite terrible things and weird things that I just, I, I can't help but ask, why? Just, just, just why? And so today I find it fitting to give my thoughts and opinions on the genre as a whole, which aren't very pretty folks uh for some reason i feel like i have to start this off by saying these are my opinions and only mine do not feel that you are forced to agree or must have or must leave a an essay in the comment section as to why this video is so toxic there's only so much time in the world please save us iq points for reading your dumb arguments and so let's begin on why I hate YA romance. Ugh. So uh, why uh, novels in general gets so much slack? It's it's a shame because I genuinely love the young adults uh, genre. I, I, I really do. I mean, we have the likes of the Hunger Games, Harry Potter, Lord of the Rings. Many of these. YA novels have followings of fond communities and make and make the publishing houses hungry for similar works. But there is one corner in the young adult genre that just bothers me completely and that is romance. It is no longer a poetic classical genre. One that's well respected and honored and, and works time and time again. It is no longer taken seriously. I would never write a romance. Never. If I do, it, it would not be the focus. Most definitely not. I am purely in the cosmic horror landscape. We've got the likes of HP Lovecraft, a bit of Bloodborne influence for the video games and such, and in terms of, of, of lore and references, uh, there's also a bit of Dark Academia, which I I am looking forward to uh, diving into uh, just in a little bit of future, in the near future. I do have plans for it. I love horror and deep, deep narrative and mythos. Things like that make people think. Romance has lost its identity, its potential has shrunk. Now and probably forever, looking at the, uh, the landscape of uh, Hollywood, they still haven't figured out the problem with their female, uh, I'm sorry, I should, let me re rephrase that. They still haven't figured out the problem with their strong female protagonist. They just aren't interesting and never will be. Uh, Ghostbusters, Ghostbusters 2016, all the Disney Star Wars uh, sequel trilogy, Tomb Raider, the Tomb Raider movie, uh, Thingy Mabubi, most recently Birds of Prey, or the Harley Quinn Birds of Prey, whatever you want to phrase that, DC, <sighs> and plenty, plenty more. Mary Sue's, a lot of them. And men in general are given the back seat or the dumb seat, and and of course, of course, Captain Marvel, Captain Marvel, the strong female character who don't need no man ever. You get my point. But film aside, let's get into some real trash. Majority of young adult romance novels are completely nonsensical. Cowboy romances. Vampires and werewolves, etc., etc., uh, uh, rich playboy billionaires uh, who don't know boundaries or anything like that. Uh, reading one of these, just one of them, reading just one of them, one of these just disrupts my being and make me think why do people read this stuff? Why do people read this stuff? They're never going to be good at all. Slammed, for example, a book about a teacher harassing and aggressively controlling uh, a, uh, a student of his 
who was his girlfriend, who was there dating at the time, and uh, and his poetry class. Uh, it is mind blowing how toxic this relationship is. If I saw this happening in real life, I would just call the police right away. It's, it's, it's just stupid and illogical characters. The writing, the writing overall is just bad. It's just bad. It tries to excuse his actions, which no, no, just just forget it. Just forget it. A lot of romances romanticize abusive relationships. I'm glad a, a large number of booktubers pointed this out with their reviews, but yet people keep reading it. I I, I don't know why, but it's it, it's somehow likable to them. I, I I wonder if these same people would like furry erotica as well with abusive relationships. My point is, the type of content is very easy for a person to think this behavior is acceptable in a normal relationship. Most people read books to distract themselves for, for, from life for a bit. They also want to seek knowledge and understand how the world works. So when a, when a child, when, when a child who doesn't know what an ideal relationship should be and they and they go ahead and read uh, I don't know in the court of roses or something or Twilight hmm. in the case of Twilight are they going to root for Edward or Jacob at least that has something going for it uh, uh, at, at least in that series, it has something going for it. In the cases of... Oh, God. In the case of Fifty Shades of Grey... No, there isn't much. There isn't much choice there. The romance genre... Naturally spawns so many toxic relationships after another. People with no sense of awareness or a hint of humor writing it because it makes money. Does that promise quality storytelling or care for the genre at all it, it makes money pathetic Just pathetic I, I, I might as well make an abomination of a fan fiction of 50 shades or after a fan fiction of a fan fiction just because it makes money instead of pouring my heart and soul into a cosmic horror manuscript with complex themes and characters romance carries dumber Romance carries dumbed down content. Most of these resort to shock value to try to stand out, but with the absolute worst execution. I'll say this to new writers. Do not do not do not go for what's easy. Don't. If you do, you never grow as a writer. As an as a true experienced writer you'd hone your skills that that the author who wrote after can they ask yourself can they write an intellectual challenging novel what one that questions your ability of comprehension either terrify you or teach you things of, of, of life that you never thought of can she do it no oh well this is a sad time for romance, as its as its worth has been sold for cheap cash grabs and first draft books on ebooks. They may sell, but they'll never reach the quality of Shakespeare or even the Odyssey. Never again. This is J Studios signing up. Have a good one.